Good afternoon, everyone. It's Mark Weens in Tokyo, Japan. We are looking for something quick to eat. So I looked up, there's a ramen, a spicy ramen shop, which I think is at the bottom of this building. It's hard to see if it's on one of those signs. Could be that red, could be that red sign. Oh yeah, I think that might be it. All right, so you come down to the basement of this building. And I'm hoping for a delicious bowl of spicy ramen. Oh, wow, that's a heavy door. <laughs> I think we're in the right place. I think it's that red sign up there. Okay, this is the restaurant I was looking for. It's a spicy ramen shop. Let's go inside. Oh, it's all bar counter seating. Do they have numbers on the? Yeah. Oh yeah, number, wait, is this number one or number eight? Number eight. Oh, this is the number one seller, but it's number eight on the menu. Aha, I get it. This one, I'm just seeing the chilio meter. This one is only uh, an eight out of 10, but this one looks like the same thing, but it's a, it's a full 10 out of 10. I'm going number 10. This one, this one is the spiciest? Super spicy. Okay, thank you. Very strong. Very strong? Okay, good. Number 10. It's such an efficient way to, to take your order and take your payment. I pressed it. Uh, 830. Wait, did I press it already? Oh, you have to put in your money first? Alright. And here's my ramen ticket. Where do you want to sit? You want to sit over there? Oh, here's okay. Arigato. Hmm? And it's kind of like a samurai spicy theme. They all wear the the red um, towels on their head. Oh, you can smell those chilies. Oh, that's gonna. I'm really hungry right now. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, look at that just dark red broth and noodles under there. And then there's a big pile of blanched bean sprouts on top. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Oh, you know what? The only thing I forgot is that the, the other one, the other one I was going to order for from the beginning, it had eggs uh, around the side. And this one, I don't think it comes with any eggs, oh, which is too bad, but... That's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make do with this broth. Look at that, the redness of that. That looks amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go in for that broth first. Taste that, that broth. It's so thick. Oh, it is kind of oily and thick and almost like tomatoey in redness. Mmm. It's a little bit spicy. Oh, you can tell that's a heat though, that might kind of grow on you. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful though, it's so rich. A little bit oily, and is that porky? It's packed with flavor. And that is just a mound, a mound of noodles down here. And then a few slices of pork. Look at how much noodles are down here. Oh, I gotta grab some, some chopsticks. And Ying ordered the, she ordered the, the, the dry ramen with some kind of broth, vegetable broth. It's going for those noodles now. Oh, that's piping hot. Oh, that's so hot. Oh. Really, really hot. Noodles are excellent though. They're a little bit chewy, and I love those bean sprouts. Really crisp in there as well. Oh, this is a piece of pork as well. Mm, that pork is so, it almost tastes like strips of bacon. That will warm you up. Set the camera down, now I can really dig, dig full on into this bowl of noodles. 
It's so tasty. And actually, it is, it is definitely spicy. Um, it is, it has a kick to it. I'm thoroughly enjoying this bowl of noodles. It's at that spicy level where you don't want to stop eating. If you stop eating, you start to feel the burn. Oh, it's amazing though. The flavor is superb. It just tastes like pure chili. I have to admit, okay, I really, really love Japanese food, but I do, after a few days of eating in Japan, I really start to miss spicy food. So this, this just feels great. It feels great to eat something spicy. Mm. Mm. That broth is sensational. And they also have, right in front of you, they have two, not, not one box, but two boxes of tissues. And there's tissues all down the bar line, so they know. And you can just hear people, people sniffling throughout this restaurant, blowing their nose. And I think it's, I think it's acceptable to blow your nose in this restaurant because it is spicy. It will, it will clear out your nose. Oh, and it's so good. Oh man, that was delicious. They also have big pitchers of water here. In case you need to, in case you need to put out the fire in your mouth. Let me get one more spoonful of that broth. Mm. Okay, I'm retiring. I feel fantastic after eating that. Arigato. Oh, and now there's a whole lineup of people out here. So the restaurant is called... Well, actually it's only in Japanese. Okay, I will write the name of the restaurant in this video and in the description box. Um, amazing, amazing spicy ramen. Oh, and I'm pretty full too. That was a, that was a good, that was a good chunk of noodles in that bowl. Just coming out of the mall, and that restaurant is in the basement of this mall. I don't know the, the English name of it, but this is what it looks like. And we're right at, uh, this is a train station called Takadonababa Station. It might be a little bit spicy for the average person, but if you love spicy, that's a restaurant you gotta go to. And they also have non-spicy versions on their menu. I'm carrying Micah and we're walking home. I gotta burn some of that, some of those ramen noodles off. All right, that's gonna be it. Uh, thank you for watching this quick ramen, spicy ramen vlog from Tokyo. Uh, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe for lots more food and travel vlogs like this and I'll see you on the next video.